Welcome back second graders to chapter five where we're going to be learning about science investigation. So let's jump right into it. Scientists are always learning more about the world God made. Whether it is something so small that it can only be seen with a microscope or something so far away that it can only be studied with a telescope, scientists are always investigating. What makes people want to investigate science? When God designed and created us, he gave us curious minds. Our minds are able to learn new things. God wants us to use our minds to discover, learn, and study more about his creation. This is what scientists do, investigate God's creations. God wants us to use his creations wisely. Scientists are often able to help others with their new discoveries. How scientists work. Scientists are very careful workers. They learn and investigate the same way we learn in science class. God allows scientists to discover more about his world through a step-by-step -step process called the scientific method. So the scientific method, step one. Scientists observe and ask questions. Scientists begin by watching or observing what they want to learn more about. Then they ask questions that could lead to new discoveries. Step two, scientists guess and predict. Scientists make new guesses about how or why something will happen. They might make a prediction like this. If I try this, I believe certain things will happen. Step three, scientists experiment and gather data. Guesses, however, are not scientific facts. This is why scientists try to prove their guesses are correct. They design fair experiments to test their guess or prediction. Sometimes their guesses are right, but sometimes they are wrong. As scientists learn, they write down what they are observing and learning. This is called data. Num uh, step four, scientists study data and share it. Scientists can prove their guesses if their data matches their prediction. Sometimes a scientist may have a wrong guess or prediction about something, but they are still able to learn new science facts as they gather new data. Often, scientists must try, to, uh, must try many experiments before they can find a new science idea or theory. Scientists share what they have learned with other scientists. More information helps scientists to do their jobs. So remember, step one is to observe and ask questions. Step two is to make a guess or a prediction. Step three is to experiment and then gather that data. And then step four is to share that data um, with other fellow scientists. Where scientists work. Scientists often um, work in a lab. A lab has all the science tools they need to do their job. Some scientists work in the place that they are studying, such as the ocean, the savanna, or the rainforest. Science tools. Scientists use certain tools as they work. Some of these are tools we use in a science class. A pencil and a paper is what we use to write what we are learning. A hand lens helps us to see little things more closely, and it also makes objects look bigger to us. We have a microscope right here, and that helps us to investigate tiny things, and a telescope right here, which helps us to see things very far away in space. We have a ruler, and a ruler helps us measure how long something is. A scale, this shows us how much something weighs. A beaker helps us measure um, something that is liquid. A thermometer helps us measure the temperature, and a timer or a stopwatch can count down time. A clock can also help us measure time. Now, science safety. When a scientist is learning about unknown things, he must be careful. Some tools and materials can be dangerous if not handled correctly. Safe science tips. Wash hands before starting an experiment or handling materials. Wear goggles to protect your eyes. Never taste science materials or put them near your nose or mouth. Do not run near science tools or science experiments. Clean up everything after your experiment. Wash your hands after you finish with an experiment or handle materials. So now, quick little do you remember. Number one, where do scientists do their work? That can either be a lab or in the place they're studying. Number two, what do you think scientists sometimes, it says why do you think sometimes scientists work in the place that they are studying? And it is to make a better observation and to gather more data. Number three, what tool do scientists use to study something far away? That would be a telescope. Number four, what tool does a scientist use to measure temperature? That would be a thermometer. And number five, what does a scientist use to protect its eyes? That would be goggles. All right, and that wraps up our lesson for this week. Thank you guys.